Good morning, I'm Meredith Haas. It's time for your morning rush. Breaking overnight, an American soldier who spent months detained in North Korea is back in the U.S. This is new video showing U.S. Army Private Travis King getting off the plane in San Antonio around 1230 this morning. Back in July, the 23-year-old was released from a South Korean prison where he served time for assault. He then bolted into North Korea while on tour. North Korean officials say they found King guilty of illegally intruding and expelled him. U.S. officials say North Korea got nothing in return for King's release. A government shutdown looms, the deadline to reach a deal just three days away. And while the two chambers go back and forth, there are real people being impacted. And this time around, it's military families that are at risk of losing out on their paychecks in just a couple of days. Coming up on the Today Show, we'll introduce you to some of those families directly impacted and tell you how they plan to cope with what could be a government shutdown. And a border battle with more troops arriving in Texas to help with the surge of migrants. Governor Abbott has a new plan. And he spoke out about it in New York, where he's been busing migrants out of town by the thousands. New York City Mayor Eric Adams is fed up, calling Abbott a madman. And that was your morning rush. Coming up, we're going to take a look at some alternative seating at Waco ISD.